The question I get asked the most is, why live so long? This is more than say like a question how to live so long. I would like people to ask me how to live longer more than you know why live so long. But nevertheless, it's a great question because you know uh, people are used to seeing older people living around them, like grandparents or people in their old age becoming very weak and frail and immobile with a lot of different diseases and having somebody else care for them like in a nursing home. So that's the, the old age that I'm not talking about because the old age I'm referring to is the age where you're still very healthy. Like when I'm 110, I'll still be playing tennis easily, I think. So that's the old age I'm talking about. Like I'm still strong, I can be independent and move around and do all the things I want to do. So let me address the question, right? But before I a answer that question, let me talk about the question that David Sinclair, as you know, is, if you study longevity, you know that he is a very uh, popular figure, leading figure in, in longevity because he's a, you know, a famous researcher and he gets invited to do a lot of talks and you know, he asked the audience if they have uh, questions. And one of the questions that gets asked is, uh, why live so long? It's like the exact same question that people ask me, right? So the way David answered that question is, it's not an answer, but it's more of like a question. He would ask like, well, if you're 50 years old and you're feeling good, and what if you can, instead of living to 80, and become uh, weak and dependent. You live to over 100 years old. You live to 100 years years old and still have the same mobility, same mental sharpness. Wouldn't you want to live longer, right? And well, the audience says yes. Yeah, of course. Why not, right? It makes sense to to live longer with the same sharpness and mobility, right? So that's David's answer. My answer. Uh, has two parts, possibly three parts. The first part is time. Time is a resource that we cannot make more of, right? So, for example, um, you can make more gold, you can dig to find more gold or minerals in the ocean or um, dig for more oil, whatever, right? You, you can do that, but time you only have 24 hours in a day. Now when there's daylight savings time, you know, during the fall, it gets pushed back. So the one day that the daylight savings time, you get 25 hours. And just that one hour kind of means a lot. Like people suddenly feel, well, I certainly feel that the day is longer. And so imagine that, just one hour and you kind of feel the difference. Now imagine, you can only live until 80 and you or you only intend to live to to 80 years old but then uh, now you know you can live to 130 with all the same abilities right so you have an extra 50 years of life and time that means you have a lot more time so it's like a different way of thinking right you have to work a lot and you got to care for your children and things like that you don't really have much time for yourself. Now with the extra 50 years, you have more time for yourself and do the things that you want to do with your life. So I would suggest that you use that time dedicated to the longevity lifestyle because it gives you lots of benefits. You know, immunity, you don't get sick and you have you know, mental sharpness, you don't get in dementia. That's what the longevity lifestyle uh, does for you if you practice. And um, the one thing you will hear a lot is that people say, well, I don't have time to exercise. I don't have time to go out because, you know, I gotta work, I do whatever. Basically, they're saying, everyone is saying that they don't have time. But now you know, when you do the longevity things that you should be doing, you increase your lifespan thereby giving you more time so you invest say half an hour a day and even less like 
15 minutes on, on physical activity, but you gain more time by doing these things. Like you, you spend say half an hour doing physical activity and in sunlight, you might have gained like half a day to an entire day of life because of the cells that is that are working for you, regenerating them, doing all these things in your body. So before you didn't have time to eat, so you eat fast food, you don't go to the market, you don't cook or take time to see what you are eating because another important part of longevity is that you gotta feed your gut microbiome. So, you know, you gotta care for, you gotta feed them the right, the microbes, the, the right food for them to take care of you back, right? So there's like a reciprocating thing going on. So you want to invest time in that right? so that you gain extra lifespan. So that's time, right? And the second part that I want to talk about is freedom. When you practice a longevity lifestyle, you get freedom because in the past, you thought you work a lot, save a lot of money because you know during the old age, you expect to pay a lot of money on medical bills because you get all these chronic illnesses, like all these things in your body, your organs, they are kind of messed up. You know, they, they age too fast, right? They shouldn't age that fast. So there's a lot of damage done um, to your body. You age much faster. so you're gonna require medical care. But if you practice a longevity lifestyle, you slow down the aging process dramatically, right? You may look 100 years old, but you probably feel just 60 or 50 years old. So that means no longer need to save so much money for medical care because you won't need it, you know? The centenarians that live in the blue zone, I call it the centenarian zone because there are more than five blue zones. There's the Hadza tribe, there's Katabins, anyway. But yeah, they don't need, they live 90, 100 years old. They don't have a doctor prescribing them, me, you know, medications that are actually doing worse thing for their body because of, um, you know, side effects from the medicine, right? So you don't need all that extra money, not just financial freedom, you also get freedom from not having to rely on somebody to care for you. Practicing the longevity style gives you the freedom of mobility and not having to rely on anyone because you, you become self-sufficient. And the freedom to travel the world during the age because you, you can go wherever you like, right? So there's just a lot of benefits in terms of freedom you can gain. So why live longer, right? Because you have different way of thinking about time and different access to freedom. Oh, I forgot to say that with freedom, you don't suffer dementia. People who live in the centenarian zones don't have dementia during old age. So uh, with that, I hope that you have a new perspective on, on thinking about why live longer because there's a lot of benefits to living longer if you do it right. The third thing I want to talk about is living a high value life as a centenarian. Now this differentiate between me and other uh, authors of longevity like Stephen Gundry and David Sinclair. I mean uh, Stephen Gundry, he's Great. You learn so much from her and him about health and you know human trials and all the things that he does. And David Sinclair with the research that you know you can live to 150 years old. So fascinating stuff. But I focus more on the high value life. What I've done with the book is that I aim high for you. So I want you to live a high value life so that it, it takes care of your mental health, take care of both your mental health and physical health. And the reason why I say mental health is that a lot of people, when they grow older, they reflect back on life. They're regretting things that they didn't do, that they could have done. Like they could have been helpful to more people, more animals and other sentient beings, right? But they somehow didn't get a chance to do that and they regret missing 
the one chance they have in life to do that. Now, when you live the life of longevity, what I was advocating in my book is that you want to help as much centenarian being suffering less and enjoying life more, right? Because uh, and we all learn from the Buddha that, you know, one of the four noble truths, which is that uh, life is suffering. And well, that's the fact of life. And, you know, my mission is I want to reduce that suffering for people and other being so it's important for me to do that so uh, it's the same reason why i write the books and making videos and so that uh, you can learn about it and my hope is that you can live a long life and you can pass down the wisdom of living a long life to the younger generation as you see the younger generation now they're not healthy people getting diabetes and overweight at such a young age eight years old and younger right uh, it's really sad to see kids you know having to suffer all that extra weight and their internal organs from eating the wrong food and lacking activity kids are supposed to move around all day and not just sitting around right in, inside so when we live this long life we can pass down the wisdom so that um, you know younger generation can learn from us and we thereby help other people live better and healthier instead of having to some suffer and die early and you know if you, you if somebody dies early or family suffer right i just went to the funeral that's why i dressed so nice today my friend who invited me to the funeral he was really sad and because of his loved one died and when you practice the life of longevity you can build such a, a robust immune system you develop immunity to to COVID, right take me for example i i was exposed to the other seven people at the height of COVID, and i didn't get it and my even my ex-wife got it and then all these years at least a decade i don't get sick you know, i don't get a cold I don't get sick from anything. So, you know, this lifestyle helps you to live a really good life. So that's what I, I like for you um, to live high value life, a meaningful life. So I aim high for you. But if you are not able to do the many things that I um, recommend, then you would at least hit low. You would not suffer from chronic diseases like heart disease and cancer and, and die early from those or e even COVID, right? So that's what I would like for you. Yeah.